Hello, welcome to the Geek's Handbag. I hope you guys are well. Now do excuse the state of me, I'm afraid my stylist is on holiday or dead, I'm not sure which. Anyway, I've just taken a delivery of a Scovot Splitzer and it's not every day you get to say that. Um, he's arrived with a couple of friends as well and I thought you guys might like to see. So, here he is. And first impressions are, I think it looks pretty good actually. Uh, from the Wave 3 series, let's have a look on the back. Right, so there's a new TARDIS on the way with the Capaldi interior and slightly different windows, so they look better actually. Uh, some new figures as well, so, ooh, not sure about the 11th Doctor in green coat, he doesn't look too good. Amy Pond figure looks good though, I'm liking that one. Uh, right, let's get this chap out and put his legs on. Okay, so his legs kind of just clip in, and once they're in, they're in quite tight, which is a good thing, they're going to be quite hard to get off once you've put them on. Um, in terms of articulation, his legs just move round a little bit, his arms move up and down, but they don't move out, and his head has hardly got any articulation at all, but that's because he's got this wiry connection bit at the back. Uh, he does spin round, and overall I think he looks pretty good. Um, he kind of looks like you should have a little wind-up mechanism to make him shoot across the floor. Uh, but yeah, overall I think I'm quite pleased with this figure. Okay, so I did mention that there was some friends in the box with him. So let's see, the first one is this, the Gold Supreme Dalek. So let's have a look at him. So, Gold Supreme Dalek from Day of the Daleks. And uh, we're not really seeing anything new in terms of the sculpt. We've seen many Daleks with exactly the same look. Um, we even got a Gold Dalek in the Children of the Revolution set, but he did have silver grating around here. But I have always loved the Gold Dalek from Day of the Daleks. In fact, I like Day of the Daleks as a story. I think it's quite underrated. So I'm pleased to have a little figure of him. And no mangled eye this time, which is good, unlike my Dalek with Mutant Slot one. And so who's this final chap hiding in the box? It is the Tenth Doctor in blue suits. And, oh dear, already I can see he's got a little paint splodge on his nose, which is annoying me. But anyway, let's get him out. So the Tenth Doctor in blue suit, and first off I think the face sculpt on this figure looks really good. It does resemble David Tennant, it's a shame about that little paint splodge on the nose. In fact the painting around the tie and shirt is not that neat either, but otherwise it looks good. Um, I've always liked the blue suit, it's got standard articulation, his head can turn and stuff, he can do the XS360. Uh, it comes with the sonic screwdriver which of course is so tiny so be careful not to lose that. And he's also got his very cool red trainers on, which I think look great. Uh, so yeah, overall, another good figure. Um, shame about these horrible red stands they come with. I hope in the next wave they change that, because even a silver one would look better. But I think out of all the Tenth Doctor figures they've done so far in the 3.5 range, this one is probably the best. So I am slowly coming around to liking the Dot 2 3.5 inch figures, they're definitely getting better but I still much prefer the 5 inch figures and I hope we get some more of those on the way this year. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, do check out thegeekshandbag.com and also the Big Blue Box podcast which I do with Gary. Until the next time, you guys take care and I'll see you very soon, bye bye!